Hey there, my lovely Capricorns. Getting ready to start your reading. I hope you guys are doing really well. This will be a reading for the Sun of Capricorn, Sun and Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Please only take what resonates as always and leave the rest. Here, can I get an initial message, please, for my Capricorns? Okay. It says your wings are strong. You can rely on and trust your resources to carry you forward successfully. Very interesting. It's funny because the card says flying solo. I just noticed that at the top. Okay, so some of you guys may be flying solo. You may feel like you're out there on your own. You're kind of paving your own way. Uh, this is Spirit's confirmation to you that your wings are strong, okay? That you can really trust the resources um, that you have and to really have what you need, actually, to carry you forward, it looks like, successfully. Honestly, Capricorns are super determined anyway. You're a super determined sign. Uh, signed, sign, <laughs> generally anyway, obviously you have a ton of ambition and you can be very dogged, honestly, in terms of getting what you want. So I think this is just confirmation from spirit. Not, don't fear. Okay. It's okay. You can go solo if that's what you need to do. Um, because you're definitely going to have everything provided that you need. The universe is here for you. All right. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to do the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle to begin with. Oh, that one just flew out. Hang on one second. Hi. Okay, this is interesting because this actually came out in reverse. It says loss, grief, sorrow, and pain. So there may have been a situation that left you a bit confused if this is you or in grief, sorrow, and pain in the past. But notice this is in reverse. Okay. So this tells me that you're actually coming out of that. Maybe you were in a situation, you could have been in a marriage, in a relationship, okay? Maybe that's why this card is talking about flying solo. It could have also been a situation around a work situation. Um, if you had to leave a work or a job that you were with in for a long time to maybe fly solo, to do your own thing. Or maybe it just ended badly, something along those lines. Family as well, okay? Don't limit it. This is a general reading, obviously. Just take it as it resonates some kind of loss but the good news is this card is actually in reverse okay so this tells me that you have risen up above whatever this is and you are kind of uh taking your power and beginning again that's what i'm getting here now if we're talking about another person i suppose it could be that person as well if you've been dealing with someone um that has been going through that someone may have been uh, that's weird i just got someone may have been in a high degree even in depression here hmm so that's being turned around as well. Yeah, look at this. It's been a long journey here. Okay. You or someone else here could have definitely felt very depleted. All right. Um, exhausted in a sense. Maybe that also was because of something that drug on is what I just heard. Uh, what does that mean? Something that actually drug on. So maybe a situation that was drug out for a long time. Maybe that you were hanging on to trying to make it work. Something like that. I love the first, I love the way Spirit speaks to us, right, and confirms, because they're basically saying, look, whatever this was, you're fine, you can fly solo, we've got you, all right, um, and I feel like you are also kind of stepping in your power to, to know this, this is rejection, irrational fear, saying no, and dismissal, so you could have certainly felt rejected, somebody else could feel rejected in a situation, maybe you had to walk away from a situation, uh, that made someone else feel like they're being rejected, but it's not rejected. It's just, it looks like you've put in so much time, um, and it exhausted you to be quite honest with you. Okay. You just, you know, that life has to go on. You have to continue on and you're willing to go solo if that's what it takes. Yeah. Better off. Look at, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> How do I do this all the time? And I'm still always in awe of what's going on, okay? You're finding your own happiness here, okay? You're in a much clearer headspace is what I'm getting. Um, this card literally says better off, Capricorn, okay? So again, you have a brand new perspective, or at least you're getting a brand new perspective on which way to go. This card is, look at this. It's a beautiful sunset that's ahead here, okay? You're just following your light here. All right, you're trying to get to lighter times, to happier times, to better times, okay? Um, we have pretend here, mask, exaggeration, and bluff. That may have been part of the uh, 
that could have been part of the problem, honestly. Somebody could have worn a mask in this particular situation. Someone could have said things that they didn't come come through with. Let's work it out. Let's, uh, this may be, you know, this may be something that's brand new that's kind of falling apart, honestly, or that you're actually putting an end to. All right. But whoever this person or whoever you were involved with, it could have been a work situation, obviously, as well. Okay. Whatever it is. Uh, it looks to me like there was some kind of mask being worn. Like you were not getting the full depiction of something or someone, okay? You weren't getting the actual full story. Um, someone just wasn't being, yeah, someone just wasn't being uh, true. You know, true to you. Maybe even true to themselves, honestly. That's the thing about masks, right? You wear them long enough, that becomes who you are. You really kind of lose the sense of who you truly are, so... This could be someone who you felt dismissed by as well, to be honest with you. But I think you've gotten through it. Uh-oh. But somebody... Uh-oh. Okay. Well, whoever this is may be wanting to seek some kind of forgiveness from you, though. All right. Um, this card speaks of return and forgiveness here. Um, it speaks of gifts, maybe bringing gifts forward, maybe uh, seeking out... Um, seeking you out to actually apologize to you in some way because they want to make a return. It's interesting to me that the overall energy is here is flying so low. So they wouldn't be seeking this out if you, you clearly turned your back. You had to is what I'm feeling here. Okay, someone gave you no other option here. And now perhaps someone wants to seek your kind of, you know, your forgiveness, your apology here. Again, this could have been anyone. This could have been around work. This could have been a friend that deceived you, a family member that deceived you, um, something along those lines. Here, let's go ahead and get some uh, tarot on it because I'm really intrigued by what is coming out thus far. All right, Spirit, give me, just give me Capricorn's energy right now, please. Excuse me real quick. I'm going to shuffle a couple more times. Not sure why, but I was told to. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Mm hmm Knave of Swords right on the bottom here. Somebody could definitely be watching you, keeping an eye on you, Capricorn. Uh, trying to see what you're up to, trying to see what your next move is, trying to see if you are really going. You know, it's so funny about our post, and that's what I'm getting. If someone can actually see you on social media or somewhere, sometimes people will look at our post just to see, you know, are they posting? You know, because sometimes, let's be honest, when we're in that mood, we will post things about what we're going through. Not necessarily, you know, more so memes. Um, and people definitely look at that to try and see where we're at, which is always funny to me, right? Okay, Spirit, give me Capricorn's energy only, please. Capricorn's energy. Nine of coins. Look at that. Solo, baby. <laughs> you are out here being, that's pre-empress energy, you know? So you're Okay. That's falling up underneath this grief card that is actually turned in reverse. Okay, whatever losses that you sustained here or whatever sorrow or grief or pain that you were going through, you've actually turned that upside down. pre Empress energy is very strong. Okay, very independent, uh, very much so in control, all right, of their life. They're, they feel more so in control. It's a very healed energy as well. You may be just moving forward, kind of focusing on building yourself back up, building your business, taking in nature, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Doing your own thing. You're fine just being alone. You're fine just flying solo here. Yeah, look at this long journey and depletion. The exhaustion is due to the five of wands here. Maybe you felt like you were constantly being put in some kind of um, competition or you were in some kind of very competitive environment in some way. Maybe that got exhausting for you. You could have also felt like you were in a situation that just had a lot of conflict, to be honest with you, okay? And it was just, again, you you held on to it. You held your ground, I think, in this situation, but it was just too much, all right? You got tired of fighting. Oh, I just, see, so you shouldn't. So this is, if this was a relationship, I just heard I shouldn't have to fight for you all the time. So I don't know if you were having to fight for someone all the time or something along those lines, Yeah. 
at the end of the day here, you may have very well felt like you were kind of out in the cold at some point, or this may be very well telling me that you walked away from a situation like that and left someone else out in the cold, and they're the one that's actually feeling the rejection here. I actually think someone is feeling dismissed or rejected. That could have been you at first. This is saying no. I just noticed that. This is saying no, and then someone gets left out in the cold. So you probably ultimately had to finally make the decision that I'm not dealing with this. This is not something I'm willing to do. I'm going to move ahead towards my happiness. And so someone here may have very well, they may very well be feeling left out in the cold. You had to leave someone out in the cold in this specific situation, or at least walk away um, towards your own happiness is what I'm getting here. Yeah, see, this was definitely someone from the past here, okay? You could have actually... Um, I guess this could have been some kind of higher commitment as well. But Six of Cups indicates to me you guys could have been friends since childhood. This could be a family member. This could be a very deep past life soul connection as well. Um, definitely someone here from the past, though, that you're definitely, or something from the past here that you're having to say no to. All right. That you're having to say no so that you can actually push forward uh, with, you know, with your own. I feel like with your own dreams, why am I saying that with your own dreams here? Maybe somebody was keeping you locked down so you couldn't even focus on the things that you wanted to do in life. Maybe even energetically, it was pulling so hard at you. Look at this, yeah. Five of Swords, I'm telling you, this person came with conflict, some way, shape, or form. Or maybe they were just playing a lot of head games with you here. This card is in reverse here. So we're seeing pretending here. So maybe at some point the mask came off, or maybe you just chose to see through the mask here because... This is certainly a person here that's walking away from a lot of conflict, a person that's not playing those silly games anymore. Uh, if there was fights or arguments or some kind of tumultuousness or even someone that was willing to wear a mask to win at any cost here, this is someone else that's saying, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing those games, okay? I don't, I don't have time to fight all the time. I need my energy for other things in my life, all right? Show me one more for my Capricorn's energy. So you're looking very strong here, Capricorn. It looks like you've dealt with quite a bit. You've got three fives here. And by the way, fives are all about change. This really depicts a huge change in your energy and probably a huge change in your life. You're changing up a lot of stuff here. Yeah, look at this. Boom. All right. Yeah, Ooh, this is falling on the apology card, too. So you got justice here. By the way, we do have Libra here. I see some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see some, uh, what else do I see? I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. I see some Gemini here. I see some Leo here. And then I see um, some Capricorn. Okay. Could have been dealing with another Capricorn here. That is your, I'm pulling your energy though. So that would make sense to me. Um, but also Taurus as well. All right. So it looks to me like you're feeling very just about what you've done here. You feel good about it. You wanted things to be very balanced. Okay. If this person is apologizing or trying to return, you may also feel like that is a sense of justice. Maybe they have actually done that soon and maybe you felt like good. You know, that's what I deserved. I deserve to at the very least have some kind of explanation, um, some kind of apology here. That could have been when you said, nope, I'm not dealing with this. So it's not what I want anymore. I'm moving forward. And maybe this is actually what is coming up for you. Regardless here, you definitely want to move forward to something that's going to be very balanced and you are so willing to fly solo uh, in this situation, definitely a lot of change energy around this situation here. Okay. Like I said, three, three fives, definitely indicative of change. Fives are all about change here. I'm noticing this sword though, with this five of swords reverse, the sword is straight up, which is about truth too. It's funny because it's fallen on the card of pretend here. So you walked away something that you felt was not bringing you truth. It wasn't bringing you balance. It was very much so um, like you, I, I guess this person lied or they just did, wouldn't come clean with you in some way. All right. So, you know, you may be in a state of healing right now. Okay. Really focusing on your future, really building yourself back up. This is definitely a big heart of a card of hope here. It's a card of healing. It's a card of renewal. Okay. Renewing yourself again, really standing in your power. Give me some more of my Capricorns right now. 
think you're moving away from a particularly difficult situation and in a situation that probably changed you quite a bit, to be honest, um, in a good way, though. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so you may have a water sign coming into your life. Again, this could be the, a Scorpio that you're dealing with. I also have an Aquarius here as well, so a Libra here. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Yeah, you're definitely moving towards uh, someone here, a King of Cups energy here. So someone here that is going to be, I think as you continue to heal here is what I'm getting here. Okay, and renew yourself, revive yourself, get out of this old energy. It looks to me that you're moving towards um, someone that can be very loving, okay, someone that a lot of people probably, um, you know, they're they're really easy to talk to, you know what I'm saying, a good role model generally, but someone who can be very kind and compassionate as well, someone that's not afraid to, to show you generally how they feel. Uh, a king of cups doesn't express themselves normally a lot, like you're not going to see their emotions on the outside, but boy, when they care about you, you will definitely feel... Uh, how much they feel for you, okay? This person may want to very quickly invest with you. All right, with this ace of coins, you may be where they want to plant their seeds at, okay? They may see you, obviously, as a wise investment. Uh, this could also be someone that is around your work situation as well. I see you definitely holding back a lot, though, in this particular situation, Capricorn. Um, maybe holding back your emotions, holding back your love, especially if you've just been through all this, to be quite honest with you. Um, maybe you feel like you need to hold back um, your love here. And maybe you feel like you need to hold back your emotions and just really take your time and certainly assess the situation. What else, Spirit? Yeah, <laughs> again, with a strength card. Yeah, you are. Like the strength card is just showing how strong you are, okay? It's show, but it's also showing me a person that is holding back, to be fair, okay? So you're not ready to throw it all in to really invest. Now, if this is this person here trying to come back, this person here in the past, because the four of coins is landing on top of the six of cups, and then we have an apology card here. We know that you feel justice in terms of this apology. If this is a person coming back again, you're definitely not going to be showing them a lot of emotion. You're not the same person as you was before, okay? Um, now, this doesn't have to be someone from there. I'm just putting that out there just in case because God knows I'll have people return and it's like, come on, I'm, you know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so just putting that out there, okay? So we have the four of coins here and the strength card, which tells me you're really standing strong here. You're standing strong in what you believe. You're holding... Um, I'll just say you're holding your own, okay? You're you're taking a stand is what I want to say here. You're not willing to, to go on in, even in a brand new relationship here, regardless of what's being presented. If this is your person from the past and say they were holding back all their emotions and now they're coming in as this king of cups and ready to spill how they really feel, you know, and that they want to invest, you're not going to be so gung-ho to just let them back in. A lot has happened here and this was a very exhausting relationship. From a new person standpoint, I'm, I'm inclined to feel that because of your healing here and everything that's went on here, your complete renewal and you putting up some heavy boundaries up here, not only with this person, but in your life, a new person is also going to come in that's going to be a little bit more complimentary to your life. Okay, but again, you're not willing to go all in at first, okay? You may still feel like you have on, up some boundaries, maybe even so around your heart. Um when it comes to relationships or to this situation. Yeah, you're definitely not putting all your cards on the table. That is for sure. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> you may just choose, honestly, to keep your uh, options open is what I'm feeling at this particular time here, okay? Um, you do have a lot of options that are coming. Also, part of your justice here, because you've decided to kind of move away from another situation, you may be actually just looking at some different options um, in your life and, and just keeping those lines open. Okay. And not only about relationships. So this can also be about where you're investing your time. Okay. What kind of business should I open? What are my true passions in life? I mean, options come in many different shapes and forms, right? So perhaps it has something to do with that as well. I think you're definitely on the path here. 
perhaps to something new. So even if someone new does come in, you may keep this person at a friend level here. If it's the old person, you may just reject them all out and keep your your feelings to yourself here and just keep your options open. I think you are you are definitely not wanting to go down the same path um, as you were before. All right, they kept you very stagnant, I think, and in your head. Let me get a card here on any persons that may be coming in here for my Capricorn. Let's just say in the next month or so. Yeah. So someone may be coming in that you view as a gift, okay? Someone could also be coming in trying to bring you a gift. This card actually says gifts on the apology. I'm just letting you know, okay? Um, you know, maybe just trying to open up an opportunity to speak with you again. This can be a complete surprise for you. You probably won't see it coming. Let me see. What can you tell me about anything that's coming in from my Capricorns? Or somebody new could be coming in that could be a complete surprise that could take you. Um, yeah, this could be also someone, honestly, that takes you uh, by surprise completely, okay? And you may view them actually as a gift, all right? There could be some travel involved here. You're just going and really enjoying yourself here, maybe going on a vacation. Maybe someone wants to take you on a vacation. Maybe you meet someone as well on the vacation. Honestly, the vacation could be the gift. Let's be honest. This could be what's coming up for you. You're keeping your options open. What do I want to do next? What brings me enjoyment, right? What brings me happiness? So maybe you just shoot off on a vacation, all right? And you're just really out there nurturing yourself, having fun, enjoying yourself here. Yeah, look. Karma, your good karma is bringing you new opportunities and an end to a toxic story. I'm telling you, you can't make it up. Okay, so you're going to have new opportunities here, which we definitely see with the Seven of Cups here. All right, but you're also going to be enjoying yourself, enjoying your life. All right, yeah. So we have past love as well. So you may actually have a past love that is going to try to return. We already know that. This card also says in the past, all right? So you may choose to leave that person in the past if you don't want them back. But definitely going to have a past love or past lover, as the card states, to come back in. Somebody is going to be seeking forgiveness here. That might be the person bringing the gift. I don't know. But it looks to me like you are putting a toxic story to bed because your good karma has reached you a lot of new opportunities okay i have a feeling you're going to be out here enjoying your life too just trying to see the world due to your own spiritual growth okay you're really trying to focus on learning at this time and really expanding uh your growth here you're not interested i feel in anything that's really going to hold you back or take you off your path at this time okay i'm gonna get a few of these cards, and then we're just going to wrap it up for you guys, Capricorn. Actually, I don't even think I want to get those. I'm going to get some of these moon cards, and we'll pull to these. Spirit, what else do you want to say to my Capricorns, please? Yep, surrender to the divine. This is telling you to really listen. We see this here with your learning, your expanding your soul, your spiritual growth. This is with the full moon here. It does say, um, surrender to the divine, okay? Really sink into the trueness of who you are, all right? Believe in what you're getting from God or whomever you pray to, the universe. Um, really surrender to that and really trust what is coming towards you, okay? We get ourselves stuck in these situations sometimes, but honestly, they teach us so much, too, if we're willing to listen, all right? There's always bigger lessons at play here. Even when they're very difficult, let's be honest. All right. One more for my caps, please. Spirit, yeah. A win-win outcome is forecast for you. That says full moon in Libra. Libra actually starts at the end of this, or at the end of September, right? Um, through, I want to say like maybe the 22nd of October, something along those lines. And it says to balance your spirituality and practicality. So begin to use both of those. Uh, together it does say the end of a tough cycle approaches i feel like that's already happened or you're right at the end of that you've definitely already made some decisions to make some changes here and obviously because of that and because of your willingness to really surrender to the divine here it looks like you have a win-win 
um, outcome that is coming up for you, okay? Don't be afraid to step forward, Capricorn. Spirit definitely has your back here, and I think this is just some big confirmation for you guys that are moving ahead, okay? All right, Caps, I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.